Hey, my name is John. Welcome to my podcast. This is episode 30 of The Snout, We Were a Band. You are listening to a tape from June 11th, 1998. The previous tape was from 416. So we went uh, almost two months without playing together or the tape is tapes from those times are not around who knows I got a feeling we took some time off it was summer people had things going on and we probably uh, were off doing our own thing you know I'm gonna turn this up a little bit because uh, this is pretty fun we'll just listen for a bit Watch me find the cool keyboard rhythm part. It's weird, it's out of sync just slightly, so it fits really cool. find a cool rhythm. The entire lyrics of this song are My automated sweetheart has a soul that can never transcend. And then, like, <laughs> eight minutes later, he says, My automated sweetheart has a soul that can never transcend. And then the only other lyric in the thing is, I believe my automated sweetheart has a soul that looks like a 80 year old naked philosopher. <laughs> And I believe that's the extent of those lyrics, which are awesome. 
but I have to move forward here. Yeah, Automated Sweetheart, I love that. I think that's a really cool thing. So Automated Sweetheart's the first thing on this tape, and then it says, Building up to a letdown, and you are now boarding Transcendental Airlines. So that sounds interesting. Um, now, when I first listened to this, because this is not among the 10 tapes that we had, I don't remember playing hardly any of this, and that Automated Sweetheart is very cool and i it's just so far distant in my memory playing any of this stuff then as i listen to it i hear myself struggling with parts and stuff like oh i remember here finding something and losing it and finding it again and um, so I, it takes some listening but uh, uh i'm remembering and uh the other thing i did is uh and uh I'll start talking about this now, is that uh, Mike and I started talking, and he decided he was going to buy a new amp. And I bought a new synthesizer keyboard, a nice little, uh, not, a, not an amazing one, but a really good one, a Roland Juno DS. Uh, it's, a, it's a smaller uh, keyboard, but... Uh, Roland makes really nice equipment, and I could make a lot of noises with it. And then I bought a little amp to go with that, and then I bought some pedals to make some noise and all kinds of chords and everything I needed to start making noise again, which is exciting for me. And Mike is going to start coming up when he can. And we're going to get together and make some noise. And then uh, the other cool thing about that is uh, I know this guy, really cool, a bit younger than us. I think he's about 30 uh, rich, um, because he's in the area, and I talked to him about playing bass, uh, and he does play bass, because I had, I had sold him a piece of music equipment, a MIDI uh, interface to be able to play guitar into it, and then put that guitar directly into your computer, and I wasn't using it, and I sold it to him, and uh, so I knew he made some music at home and stuff, and when uh, Mike and I started doing that, and I knew Matt was in New York, now we do plan on still making some stuff and sending it to Matt, Mike and I do, and letting him play bass and send back to us. And, but um, uh, we wanted somebody to be able to play live with, and Rich said he's more than in willing to do that. So we're going to try to find the time with all of our schedules to get together and uh, make some noise if we can on a regular basis. So... Um, I'm not going to just out and out say, hey, we're getting the band back together um, because uh, it's not quite that, but we're getting the band back together, <laughs> which is so weird for me now. I've made this decision that I'm going to start playing music again, and I bought all the stuff, and the nice thing is that because we've listened to these tapes, we know we can do this. It's just a matter of, of, you know, I bought the drum machine, the exact same one I had back then, because what I found out is the Alesis SFR16, which I was using back then, um, and I bought just because it seemed cool. Uh, it turns out to be one of the best drum machines ever made, and people are still using it, and it's the top-selling drum machine of all time, and it hasn't changed in 25, 30 years. It's been the same, and so I bought a new one. And so I can start doing a lot of the same things I used to do now. It'll be a little different because the setup just isn't the same. But uh, what I was able to do with the old setup, I've bought three effects pedals that should be able to do what needs to be done uh, to make uh, really cool noises again with my cool new equipment. So I'm excited about that. I'm in a different place in life. And um, what I did, uh, because... Uh, some of the physical stuff I have going on. I sold my boat. I had a nice boat, got a nice chunk of change, took some of that money, and bought some new equipment. And I'm very excited about that. So, uh, And uh, Mike is too. And uh, we hope to make new music. I'm excited. I We'll see what happens. I'm 60 years old, and I'm going to become a musician again, which <laughs> is really weird. Uh, and I think this time I actually will become a musician. I don't know if I actually was last time, but I'm going to try to... to uh, get to where I was and move past that. And Mike wants to do the same, and we want to do some, uh, you know, studio multi-track recording. We want to do some live stuff like we did back then. We want to record everything again and, and see what we can make happen. So stay tuned for that. Let's see where we are in the tape. 
Okay, that, that is just the end of Automated Sweetheart. Well, not good. That's a good stopping point. I'm going to move forward just a bit. Uh, okay. Then the next thing on this side is called Building Up to a Letdown. Now, I don't know. Let's see. I don't know this one. We're going to listen. Now remember, this is just starting from nothing, and we have no idea what it's going to become. But it looks like I found some keyboards I like, and I'm making everybody <laughs> kind of go along with that, maybe? <laughs> get to hear the process. It sounds like they want a different drum beat or something. So let's see what happens. I was like just sounds like we uh, have no idea what we're doing. <laughs> Let's just, this was the process though between stuff and this one it sounded like somebody wanted to play slow and I was playing a faster drum beat and we'll see how uh, if it comes together. Sometimes it didn't work out. Let's see what we get here. turned into something. Now it sounds like we really weren't into that either, so let's see what happens with this. I'm just going to let it go for a bit just because it's kind of fun to hear the process, you know? Let's 
so that's kind of cool. You know, it's turning into a weird uh, 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 countryish thing. <laughs> um, I think when I pulled this out and made a digital copy of just this song, I removed most of the beginning there and just did this part. And I think I called it I Wish I Was a Cow Hand. <laughs> Which is kind of a reference to none of us really be in country at all. <laughs> but we tried to play something like this. <laughs> and hey, we did a number of country-ish things. All right, so we're going to move forward. Let's see. That is, uh, yes, titled now. On here it says building up to a letdown, but I... Uh, Pulled out that good part. I thought it was good, and then I called it uh, um, I Wish I Was a Cow Hand. So a lot of the things I pulled out as single song type things, uh, the, the names changed. Um, when I listen to them more closely, the names changed. Sorry, I'm trying to fast forward and pay attention to that and talk to you at the same time. And this uh, podcast has no edits. This is just me hitting record and doing this. Uh, that's it. <laughs> Turn that up a little bit. Now that it's really into the meat of it, let's hear it. Pretty cool, man. All right, well, we do have to get further forward here um, so we can try to keep these from being too long. I'm not even to the end of the first side, and we're already at 19 minutes, 20 minutes. That's not good. So let's see. You can hear that changing. Let's see where, because the next thing up is... Uh, you are now boarding Transcendental Airlines. Let's see what happens here. We're starting a new one. Let's listen to the process. I haven't even found the drum beat yet. the drum beat I settled on. Looks like I'm slowing it down. Nope, still haven't found what I'm looking for. <laughs> to quote you two. Oh, sounds like we're finding it. still fucking with the drum machine. I haven't found keyboards for this yet. Let's see what I do with that once I quit doing those fills. Uh, a lot 
lot of times before we figured something out, it really sucked. <laughs> really sucked. <laughs> and sometimes even after we figured it out, it really sucked. <laughs> All right, I'm going to move forward and see if uh, we uh, uh, can find, uh, <laughs> if we found it. <laughs> I remember it not being awful, but it, sometimes it takes a while. Like I said, sometimes it's it's not great. <laughs> hey, but we're not uh, hiding anything here. We're just letting it all out. Okay, now this seems cool. Finally found our thing here, I think. We'll turn it up a bit. Bouncy. I guess it should be because this is a uh, uh, you are now boarding Transcendental Airlines. All right, let's go a little further forward. Just see if we can catch Mike uh, saying anything because I know he's he does speak on this one. So it took a while on this one, but this is pretty cool. I believe we have uh, John playing guitar, what would be the left channel, Mike on the right. This gets pretty out there, huh? <laughs> All right, I'm going to flip this tape and start from the other side because I know that song gets uh, cut off and... Uh, oops, come on, you can do it. There we go. We're going to rewind. Um, yeah, uh, you know, the nice thing is if you play something for a very long time and putzing around trying to figure something, something you just start to figure something out. And it may take a while, but every time we got to something where we were all doing something together pretty well, and um, I think that's pretty cool. All right, we are rewinding, and I'm knocking shit off of my... Whoops, sorry about that. Shit's falling everywhere.
Let's see if we're rewound. Not, oh, that was quite a bit left there, I guess. They're very long songs. Let's try it again here. We should be to the end very quickly. But I just knocked a big stack of papers over that I need to not lose behind the desk or anything. <laughs> Lovely. Let's try this now and see where we pick up uh, now that we're on the other side. So it, it picks up with more of this uh, Transcendental Airlines when it gets really spaced out, I believe. Let's see. Or maybe it's done. I don't know. Oh, that was loud. That was the nice thing about the freedom of the attic. It did not matter. Um, we just did whatever the fuck we wanted. <laughs> yeah. More of the same. Let's keep her moving forward. We need to get to, I don't know, something called Local Gringo. That's still that one. Side two, the continued flight, which is what we're listening to, more of Transcendental Airlines, and then Loco Gringo. Yeah, that's a long one, like all of them. <laughs> and I know there's nobody out there listening to this. I, I look at the numbers. Nobody's listening. And, I'm just doing it because I want to get it down on tape, have it for me. And hopefully, at some point, more people will find it and enjoy it. And if not, that's okay, too. All right, here's something new. Well, that was an instance where I wasn't recording when we started and then I just started recording and faded it in so we were already at least kind of into something so this is called I guess local gringo oh that's an interesting keyboard choice <laughs> That's pretty weird. And once again, you have an extremely simple keyboard part that is made to sound better with some effects. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep moving forward. Uh, that was a, uh, not a great keyboard part, but that's okay. I was finding my way.
also I found something a little more interesting I will say that one of the things that bothers me the most about these recordings is that uh, I made myself my keyboards uh, way too loud a lot of the times, and they didn't need to be out front. And that is, uh, I don't know, me wanting to hear myself. I don't know, it's just the way it happened. So we're still in the middle of, uh, I guess what's called local gringo. I'm not sure. Uh, and then it's supposed to go into something called that's fucked up right there. So let's see. Boy, buddy, dad. <laughs> The keyboards are a little too much and a little too repetitive, but it's what I did. <laughs> Let's move forward, because we're supposed to get to, that's fucked up right there. I don't remember much about that either. Too much, too much me, too much of me. <laughs> oh well, it is what it is. Oh, okay, there we go. And uh, oops, please remember that these are raw, straight from the master tape, which is this cassette that you're listening to. There's no processing in between. There's no digital editing. There's no um, compression. There's no noise reduction. This is the mix, the way I made it live to the cassette through my eight track thing. Okay, that's me. So apparently, if you didn't get the message, that right there, that's fucked up right there. That's fucked up right there. My voice was higher then, I guess. I don't know. Let's move forward. That's fucked up right there. <laughs> you know what that is? That 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 that's fucked up right there. All right. So this must be. What are you on? Question mark. Mm -hmm. 
Sounds like I really slowed things down. Kind of kept the same keyboard part. That's pretty fun. Boy, this is already 38 minutes long, and we haven't even gotten to another Happy Cowboy song. I think we got to move forward a little bit, but uh, sorry, I'm getting lost in the sauce, baby. Uh, that one was <laughs> really spacey, <laughs> and I suppose that the name uh, What Are You On uh, indicates it probably would be. <laughs> But I want to get to another Happy Cowboy song because it's another. It's pretty funny. Um, I don't think we can release it just because it's got some sensitive stuff in it, um, and people wouldn't understand that Mike is singing from the point of view of a character that he made when he uh, says the things that he does. But uh, it's okay. Uh, we'll listen to the beginning of it, and uh, someday you'll hear it if you want to. <laughs> in its entirety Just like Addy, like uh, I think we're transitioning again which was just always interesting it was like just find some different beat and let's go uh, sometimes people would ask for a slower or a faster beat that's pretty fucked up right there <laughs> I was getting some pretty weird keyboards parts going, man. That was I uh may not have been a really great like piano playing, but I got pretty good at like synthesizer playing and using the drum machine to help me play and all kinds of cool stuff. So I was getting better. We all were. <laughs> This is another Happy Cowboy song. <laughs> right out into the sunset really, really far. Make a pan of beans without trying really hard. <laughs> this is a Happy Cowboy song. I love that, man. We all want to be career cowboys. <laughs> but this uh, episode is too long to listen to much more of that. Um, but it gets, yeah, pretty. The, the <laughs> I'm going to move forward. We're going to find uh, another psychedelic Christmas at Mike's, which I don't even know. And lunch at the OCB, which got cut off at the end which is about having lunch at the old country buffet. All right, that's still that one. we got to keep moving forward. Another psychedelic Christmas at Mike's is probably just some weird interlude that uh, I gave a title to that Mike said something in. Me and my cowboy friends. <laughs> Me and my cowboy Hi. friends. God dang it. Stop that. <laughs> That is a funny song, uh, and I wish we I could just release it, but it has some stuff in it that uh, wouldn't go over well. 
We must be just about done with that. I got to get to another psychedelic Christmas at Mike's. I don't know. Still doing that. This and the other thing on this, and then this episode is long enough. This is not a 90 minute tape. It says right on the tape here it's a 110 minute tape. So there's an extra 20 minutes. All right, we have silence. Here it comes. Let's see what this is. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> that is another psychedelic Christmas at Mike's. <laughs> Let's see, we've got the last thing is lunch at the OCB. And uh, I think that's one that I do the words on. Oh, that's still that. Because uh, Mike and I like to go eat at the Old Country Buffet. and uh, yeah, At one point, actually, Mike and I were eating at the Old Country Buffet. And uh, we got we each got the Grandpa's Country Breakfast, which comes with just everything. It's just huge. And uh, Mike decided uh, to order a pitcher of gravy because it came with biscuits and gravy, you know. And she brought us a pitcher of gravy and charged us like five bucks for it or something. <laughs> <It's> like, awesome. <laughs> That's still going. A pitcher of gravy. I mean, come on. It doesn't get much better than that. <laughs> Fucking Mike. We had a lot of good times. So that's the end, kind of the end of that, it sounds like. Let's see what we have with, uh, if we can get to lunch at the OCB. Whoa, that was weird. The tape must be fucked up there. This is a, a country buffet, I think. A little pile of lettuce in the middle of the lake covered with imitation bacon bits, sunflower seeds, crusty croutons, funky three bean salad that had been pickled for weeks, some pickled jalapeno peppers, and more salad dressing than anybody's ever put on their plate. Shortly after finishing my salad, I relieved myself to the restroom to get rid of any excess baggage which may impede my intake. Next, I went and got myself a dinner plate. 
And on that dinner plate, I put a piece of fried chicken, a veal cutlet. I put myself some mashed potatoes and gravy, some frozen broccoli with imitation cheese sauce. After the first bite of the potatoes and gravy, I knew they were both imitation. The chicken had to be the most low-quality meat I'd ever eaten. And the veal cutlet, well, let's just say don't eat OCB veal cutlet. Although Mike liked it. Well, there you have it. <laughs> that gets cut off. It. <laughs> and I'm glad it did because it didn't need to go on any longer. <laughs> so we're not going to play out anything on this tape. I'm just going to say goodbye. I want to thank you. My name's John Dundas. This has been This Now We Were a Band, episode 30. Thanks for coming by. See you next time.